So on days before races, I try not to have a really high carbohydrate um, content in my diet. So this is, uh, we are talking about a week prior to the race. Um, I just fuel for the work required basically based on the training sessions, but I try not to overeat with carbohydrates or the glycogen loading just the day before the race would not be as efficient. The other thing that I try to do is to reduce fiber intake uh, starting three days before the event, which means that I try to avoid a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, and I really like to focus on simple carbohydrates, simple foods, lots of protein and little fat as well. Um, and this means eating a lot of plain rice like um, and plain rice with chicken, uh, tuna um, and stuff like that um, and avoid like dishes uh, with a variety of different kinds of vegetables, complex dishes. Um, this is something that I have after the races. This is probably not something that you would do like on a weekly basis, but for really important events, especially those that involve a lot of climbing, this is um, beneficial because this way you kind of reduce the amount of residue in the gut and you can probably lose up to one and a half kilo just because of that. Um, and also not having any residue in the gut um, helps you avoid gastrointestinal problems during the race itself. So this is kind of um, beneficial from this regard as well. And on the day before um, the race, I usually try and do the glycogen loading. This involves eating plenty of carbohydrates and we've made a special video for this so check it out um, but yeah it's about carbohydrates um, 10 to 12 grams per kilogram of body mass